Okay, you guys, today I'm going to be talking about the most common necessities of pastel cloth fashion and where to find them. So, thank you for watching. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with these two. These two I found at just regular stores. This one I found at, I think, Macy's or JCPenney's or something, and I found it on the clearance section. So, yeah, that was a good find. And this one I found at Target. And they're both pretty cheap, especially this one since it was on clearance. But I just want to show you guys this because um, you can find pastel golf fashion in your regular department stores. The next of these are kind of DIY pieces. This one was just a plain black shirt, and I painted it. I made a, I um, drew a stencil, painted it, and um, yeah. And this one I studded. And you can find studs like these for a dollar on eBay. And you can turn like a sweater into a studded sweater. These next two I found at pretty well-known stores. This black Teenage Runaway button-up shirt I found at um, Hot Topic. And this one I found at Forever 21. And if you guys want to buy some pastel goth clothing that you don't have to tweak, then I highly recommend looking at those places. This next piece I found at um, kawaiigoods.com and I think they still sell it so I will link it below in the description. Next I'm going to move on to shorts. So these shorts, um, they were actually pants before and then I cut them and dyed them a lilac color and then I studded them again, again with my eBay studs. So yeah, you guys can, you know, do it yourself. Um, these I got at, um, these are high-waisted shorts. I got these from Goodwill, I think, but they're originally from Forever 21. And, yeah, I will link below similar ones to these. This is, once again, from Forever 21, and I did find it at Goodwill. So, I would definitely check out your local thrift store. And then this next, um, pleather skater skirt I found in a store called Wet Sale in the mall, but I will link below a similar one from um, Store Envy. Then I'm going to move on to tights. Okay, so this one I found at Hot Topic, so definitely scope out Hot Topic for some pastel goth tights. Um, these three pairs I got from eBay, and I will link below a similar one of this, and this one I'll link below similar as well. And this one I'll, I will also link below where I got this one. These are the only pastel goth shoes and platform shoes I have right now, but I'm going to talk about them anyways. So these are from Maxstar, and I got these for $40, but you can find a similar pair on eBay for around $20. Also popular in pastel goth fashion are uh, the Jeffrey Campbell um, Edas or Lidas or something. Um, and I found them on Store Envy, very similar pair, so I will link all three of those down below. I'm now moving on to accessories. So this um, I actually bought from, and this is like a choker. I bought this at Claire's or Icing or something, and I just glued on a little pastel um, rose. Um, I'll, I'm not sure if I can find a similar one of this online, but I'll try. This one, um, I can. Def this is from Raro Julie's, and I can definitely link this down below. These I got off of Store Envy. I can't remember the store name, but I will find it for you guys and link it below as well. This I actually got at the flea market for a dollar, but I saw them on Store Envy, and they were selling it like four dollars, and I got this for a dollar, so it just kind of surprised me. So be careful; people will, you know, make you pay. A lot for things that you shouldn't pay a lot for. And this one I got from Hot Topic, and this one I got from Store Envies or Claire's or something. And this I got from Hot Topic as well. And I really have, I highly recommend you get a corset belt because they're really cute to accessorize with. So finally, I want to talk about wigs. So this wig I bought on eBay, and as you can tell, it is pretty shiny, and I cannot heat style it. 
This one I got from Gothic with Little Wigs, and I can I can indeed heat style it, and it's very pretty, as you can tell, not shiny at all. This one um, I got for twenty. This one I got for forty. So, but I honestly think it's worth putting in that extra money, especially since on eBay, um, you cannot really guarantee the quality. Sometimes they do steal stock photos. So I'm just gonna end the video there. But um, if you guys are on mobile, definitely go on the computer because I have a lot of helpful links in the in the description box below so please please check those out it's all for you guys I put it all there so you can find um, some of the stores that I go to usually so that's all you guys thank you for watching um, please like this video um, I do plan to do future hauls so subscribe if you really want to watch those so yeah thank you